a mushroom blackly on TikTok is making the ridiculous claim that a video that showed Drew Barrymore frolicking in the rain is racist. How about this guy? Is this guy from Barn Sanctuary frolicking with cows also stealing from set creators? Woohoo! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Just to drive this woman crazy because she's wrong, here's the extended clip of Drew. <laughs> Whenever you can go out into the rain, do not miss the opportunity! <laughs> Whenever you can go out into the rain, do not miss the opportunity! <laughs> Whenever you can go out into the rain, do not miss the opportunity! <laughs> but here is the TikTok making these claims. You and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So... I guess my question would be, why? Why, would, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter? Okay, if some people from a particular group do a thing, that does not mean no one else can. You're not claiming the people you're talking about making frolicking videos stole it from Singing in the Rain, are you? Singing in the Rain came out in 1952 with Gene Kelly, and that was long before TikTok existed, so give me a break, you can't claim ownership over rain. The condescending tone of voice this creator uses and the condescending annoying tapping of fingernails is awful, but how in the hell is frolicking in the rain and filming it treating creators of color like they don't matter? And if Drew did see the clips of other creators frolicking in the rain, she probably thought that looks like fun, not I can't wait to steal content from people. In fact, here is Drew's explanation she gave ages ago to people when she posted the frolic. I'm such a hippie that when I see the rain, I just think I want to go out in it and have a little baptism from Mother Nature and be free and not worried for a second. I do worry and stress a lot. I'm also not a hippie sometimes and really a person who wants to have action and be a business person and get things done and with that comes a tremendous amount of pressure and stress. Rain is a signal for me to let go and stop overthinking everything. Hey, at least she wasn't doing it naked. One response on Twitter says, I'm so utterly confused. Somebody please explain the connection between frolicking in the rain and black people. Are there historical atrocities committed against black people by a white person frolicking in the rain? My questions are genuine. She posted further TikToks explaining her position, but they're nonsense. Here's an example. So you know that trend where black people are frolicking and having a really good time and experiencing black joy because we really, really, really need to highlight black joy right now, especially in these times of tragedy? Well, this creator decided it was a good idea to go ahead and frolic with us even though we specifically made it very obvious that it was a trend to highlight black joy and black joy only and when i tried to correct this creator um they went ahead and was like mm, oh you're making enemies out of your allies i'm an ally ally you were never an ally if your allyship was conditional on black people always agreeing with you. And even further, if you're a good ally, you know when to take a step back and reevaluate your choices and stop. Which you need to do. Let black people experience black joy with each other for once. 
That's right, folks. Only people of color can express joy by frolicking in the rain. A woman like Drew, enjoying some of the little joys in life that she missed out on in her awful childhood, nope, not allowed. Because apparently, that's stealing from creators of color. This is silly. Stop making everything about race. Stop trying to show discrimination where there is none. How is this going to bring any sort of healing and unity? It's not, but it's sure going to bring this woman views, isn't it? Sorry, my friend, but rain will remain in the public domain.